So I started art like every other kid. Um, I started with coloring books and just coloring in between the, in the lines of somebody else's work. Um, then as I got older in elementary school, I really, really realized that I really loved making my own original art. Um, uh, when I moved from my old school to here, uh, my friends found the Career Center and the Digital Media Arts Program, and I observed it for a year uh, with them being here. Um, and then I finally got the courage to sign up and get an interview. I mainly do digital art now since I have access to it, um, but growing up I did do traditional art in many different styles, like uh, I did anime type or like shouju uh, art. Um, my strengths would be I'd have to brag about my proportions when I draw people. Um, and then I also really enjoy my color scheming. And I'm always sticking to like five colors. I would have to say is just coming up with an idea on my own. That's not a commission. Um, like I will try and plan out like a big project and try and use as little reference as possible because when I uh, use references, I feel like it's not actually my own. But I mean, I end up working with it enough to where it is. Um, it, it was, it was hard at first, um, going from a, tra a traditional mindset with pencil and paper and with all the other materials, um, to digital. Um, I find digital to be easier, um, but harder to access because it's not like you can just get something that's cheap and have it work well, work well with you. Um, I was lucky to have gotten to a place where I have everything that I need to success in digital art. Um, but yeah, it was, it was pretty easy since I had the access to it.